What's up everybody? It's Wolf. How y'all doing today? Today we are back in the Avaverse and we are gonna be talking about Battlebound, uh, Project A, the whitelist, the map NFT. Uh, it's been a minute. We haven't really had an update. Uh, at least on my channel, I haven't really talked about the, um, the update of the map NFT, where we stand with that, what's happening. And uh, to be quite clear, I don't really know when we're gonna get it. Uh, Avaverse team, they announced that obviously everybody will be getting it it'll kind of coincide with the second arrivals drop um so the characters that'll be um the secondary wave of characters uh over these are the first arrivals and then you'll have the second arrivals and uh there'll be different waves um so what they did was they had a little um ama a little um little spaces and uh it was uh, it was all right it was pretty good um i mean they answered quite a few questions around the token um ideas of when token drop will be um the the best um machine uh or the best the terminal uh badge exchange something terminal um so it's like a lottery machine so that'll be hopefully within the next few weeks we'll see the machine come out they've released a lot of updates around i think they're trying to aim to do one big push out now that there's a bigger team it's a little bit more focused and um i feel like there's a little bit more of thought and such put into the change process behind the rollouts of the different features um so shortly I'm hoping that we'll see a few of those things be released, right? Uh, there'll be visual updates. They've released new videos today, actually, of a visual update of what the hub would look like. It looked pretty cool. Um, so hopefully we'll see those visual updates within the next few weeks, as well as the um, badge system, um, exchange system come live. That way we can um, exchange our tokens or our tickets for badges i don't know why i'm saying tokens i apologize our tickets for badges um and then when the token drops those badges will represent a token allocation but those uh badges if we go um into here and we go to inventory um as you can see i have none because obviously it's not live yet but so if i take my seventy four thousand, um, i think it was like you get um it's 1,000 tickets to spin the machine, um, and then you get a payout of a certain amount of each per blah, 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 blah. Um, you can do large amounts. You can do big things. Um, there's talk of potentially a payout to the whole server if you hit like a jackpot or something like that. So they're working out the feature, um, and I, I'm pretty sure they have the visual aspects of it and the animation aspect of it figured out. That's all there. They've shared videos of it. Um, I think I shared a video of it. If not, I'll insert a clip of it here in the corner of our screen. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for that to be a thing. Uh, so the reason I'm covering that is because it kind of ties in with the map NFT. So that's one of the things they touched on was the terminal machine will come out. Yes, the token might not be ready. They're working with legal entities that worked with Yuga Labs, Coinbase. Um, I can't remember the other people. Uh, a few other uh, coin, major coin drops, etc. They've worked with those people. Um, and they continue to do so. Like they're retainered for Coinbase, etc. Uh, so... They're just trying to fully vet that out, like I've said in the past, and make it legal for the United States, other countries as well, right? We want, um, like I've said, we want to invest in projects and things that are going to do things properly, not just for a quick dollar. Um, I mean, money is nice, right? I do want to obviously preference that I will be selling some of my stuff, right? Like I need to recuperate some money and I'd like to be able to buy like a first arrivals or, you know, some things that I don't already have. Um, <clears throat> in the NFT ecosystem, but, uh, I also want to like continue on playing Avaverse and like the Avaverse games, right? Like I'm going to, I'm going to mint a second arrivals. Um, but let me continue on with my conversation before we ramble on about, um, what we're going to do and what we're not going to do with our token. And we're all human. We're all allowed to make our own decisions and do what we will with our things and make money as we will with them. Right. Um, but essentially the badges so that the badges have more utility and it's not worthwhile to just send essentially sell it into a token right they're trying to make it worthwhile in the game you'll be able to buy items for the game um they're going to be 
potentially doing a drop of weapons for a like fps type version of this game inside of the avaverse world um and that's we've talked about that in the past um so that'll be pretty fun um i would assume maybe you can buy those with um the tokens or upgrade your items or wearable items etc that you could buy with the badges um things that incentivize not selling the badges and to make the token hold a little bit more value right um it's expected that there'll be probably a token uh, like a drop off on the token price when it initially drops but you know you kind of see that with everything um sometimes it recovers sometimes it doesn't but i mean that's based on what the project's doing and what the tokens for etc um gaming tokens seem to do pretty well normally um especially when it's based off of what it is but uh so the 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 whole thing i was saying is the the map will be dropped right it'll be airdropped eventually when that all kind of goes live it's all going to kind of drop together because they need the mechanics of the machine and the badges um, to translate into powering up or leveling up your map the same way that you would see here like I'm leveling if this wasn't already um, a maxed out board um, I would be leveling the board etc so um, they're kind of following that same you know motto and that the badges will go towards leveling up the map and then at that stage you'll get collectibles um you'll be able to um mint whatever it may be at the certain stage so it'll require you to play the game and uh you know be involved in the community and i think that's a good thing right they want people that are involved in the community to have the whitelist to be able to mint the things and they also want to give back to the community and say hey here's free things that um like concept art stuff like that that might have some sort of value maybe oh god i thought that was going down faster maybe not everybody gets it right um some some one of one stuff i don't know if it'll all be one of one but um you know i think that's pretty cool i think that's a pretty cool concept and it'll keep the community engaged it'll make the badges have some utility before the token is fully released and um yeah so uh, that's kind of pretty much the update that i have in terms of avaverse we could hit that yeah let's go um and battlebound project a the second arrivals and uh the map nft so hopefully within the next month or so we'll see the map the uh map nft dropped to all the wallets that were able to receive it um i think i dropped two videos kind of helping figure out how to get to the whitelist um i did not think it would take this long i don't know if it's market conditions as well um i mean there's a lot that kind of go into doing this and like i said i think it if I had to put anything on it, I'd say that it's, they're getting a bigger team. They're starting to slow down the rollout process on things and making more calculated changes, which is probably a really good way to go about things. Being from the side of like system development and systems engineering, I understand that you got kind of got to do things slower just so you don't break games and break the server and break other things. Um, so yeah, it's really cool to see that you know they are constantly working. They just actually signed in another 3D modeler today. Um, so yeah join the discord and uh check them out battlebound um yeah I'm, I'm excited for the map to drop i'm excited to be able to use the badge um system to do the tr uh, the exchanges for the badges and then use the badges to upgrade the map and stuff i kind of want to like you know i want to show utility and usage within within the game other than um we're just racing and having fun um I mean, the games came a long way since last year and its release, where it was kind of more of just like a sandbox game and there wasn't really anything going on. There wasn't the races um, that they do have now. Um, it was two people working on it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the future holds and uh, where we're going to end up with this game. Um, Legends of Inari Season 1 should be dropping shortly. Um, I believe we will be seeing... All right, well, we will be doing our land selection for um, bio pills. Uh, I believe that opens the 31st of um, May. And then 
what what else is next we got bio pills legends of inari oh bio pills racing that's what i was gonna say um bio pills racing will come shortly after lane selection i believe um excited for that uh and it really looks like they're building it on a similar layout of the avaverse so i don't know if um they have partnered with the avaverse to like have their own separate portal from the hub or something that you go into that would connect into the bio pills you know there's a lot of stuff that's going to go into it and um it'd be cool to see these two games kind of collectively come together um but it seems similar in the style of like the map layout kind of like where you're looking here like how that is like the the road and stuff and the pillars um it seemed kind of similar to how the um the bio pill stuff was set up or like more so over here with like the the walls um the way that the walls were set up in the tracking but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed if you did please like share comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace